Hey YouTube, it's your girl Erica, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm so excited. Last night, I reached 100 subscribers. I can just squeal like a baby pig. I am so excited for that milestone. It took a while to get there, but I, with persistence, I got there, and I'm not stopping there. I'm going to continue to grow my channel. So guys, if you're not already subscribed, please do me a favor. Stop what you're doing. Hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Hit that post notification bell so you never miss an upload. And leave me a comment so I know you're watching. It's free and it helps out my channel. So please subscribe. Guys, in today's video, I want to share with you some perfumes that I picked up from Target. They are priced at $19.99 and they are called Mix Bar. They have six scents, six fragrances, and I picked up three of them. The fragrances that I picked up are the Whipped Almond, the Blackberry Tonic, and the Sparkling Hibiscus. Guys, the packaging is extremely cute. I'm a sucker for packaging, and these are aesthetically pleasing. So I want to share with you guys my first impression. The bottle or the box says that it's to blend and layer. And they are a display of bottled flavors and elixirs. So the first scent that I'll be starting with is the Whipped Almond. This is number 14. So the description says that it has creamy notes of toasted almond and sweet milk wrapped in rich sandalwood, which create an elegant scent that is both addictive and alluring. It says, with endless possibilities, layer and blend your fa favorite mix bar scents and become the creator of your signature fragrances. So like I said, you are able to mix the, um, the scents to come up with your own signature scent. And they are free from parabens and they are vegan and cruelty free. So let's see what this one smells like. So it's a very cute little bottle. It's um it looks like it has a it's a orange tint to it. It's a cute bottle with the silver top. The top of it says mix bar, if you can see that. And let's see what it smells like. Mmm, guys, this smells really good. It smells like a toasted almond. It smells fresh and clean. I really like this scent. It is definitely true to its name, whipped almond. Let me spray it on and see. This smells really good. I like this scent. Um, you can, you can, it's, it has a vanilla undertone. Did it say it had vanilla in it? Mm, no, it does not have vanilla, but it, it has a vanilla undertone. It, it's, it is sweet and it's, it smells really good. This, I think. Is a warm scent. I think this can is best warm probably in the fall and winter. I really like this. This is the whipped almond. Okay, so the next one we have is sparkling hibiscus. And this says this is a delightful fizz, a delightful fizzy blend of soft hibiscus petals. Lay it with dark, juicy berries inspired by a refreshing, fruity cocktail. Um, 
And this one too, you can layer. So let's see how this one smells. This one will probably be one that I like to wear in the summer and spring. It's probably a lighter fragrance. And this one has a pink bottle, whereas this one is orange. This one's pink. It's the same with the mixed bar on the top. And this is in the number seven. Mm, now guys, this smells so fresh and refreshing. You can definitely smell the sparkling berries. I am I cannot wait to wear this in the summertime. This is definitely a light, playful scent. Some might say it's a little immature. It's definitely not a mature scent, but it's definitely flirty and playful for a nice uh, brunch date or a nice day out in with your friends, your your um your friends, your boyfriend. It is very very fruity. I love this. Let me spray it on and see how it smells. Yes. This smells really good. Like I said, this to me is a summer spring. Summer and spring scent. I would definitely be wearing it in the summer and spring. Um, it's very flirty and fun. Okay. So the third and last scent that I have is Blackberry Tonic. And something tells me that this is another warm scent. It says it's irresistibly juicy and delicious. This indulgent blend of wild blackberries and dark woods is wrapped in the addictive vanilla. Um, so, like I said, this is probably going to be more of a winter, fall scent, a uh, um, more warmer scent. And don't forget, guys, you are able to layer these to create your own signature scent. This one is mm, a purple bottle. So, and you can see the difference in the shades. The purple, oops. Purple, pink, and orange. So you can see the shades. They are um, lightly tinted. So let's see what the Blackberry Tonic smells like. Hmm, okay, this might be an acquired scent. I, off top, I'm not saying I'm loving this scent. It smells good, but it's not, I don't like it better than the other two. You can smell the vanilla in this it smells like a vanilla and berry mix so it's definitely not bad it's just it's not my first pick it's not my preference I, this will be the third one um it's definitely a warmer scent one that's probably better or best worn at nighttime um it's it's more mature um i would say maybe for date night it's it's not definitely not a bad scent. It's just that I don't like it better than the other two. If I had to rate them, my first pick would be the Sparkling Hibiscus. I love this. I love, if you watch my Bath and Body Work Candle Haul, you would know that I love fruity, playful, fun summer scents or what's considered summer scents. Um, so the first one would be the Sparkling Hibiscus. And then next, I would have to pick the Whipped Almond because this, this smells kind of sensual um i think this would be perfect for date night or getting out the shower and putting this on and then the blackberry tonic like i said which is a more mature scent 
I have not sprayed it on me, so let me see how it smells on. Yeah, this is this would probably be best suited for um date date night, the, the evening. This is definitely a warmer scent. Overall, guys, I think these are great affordable perfumes. Um if you're not looking to break the bank, you can mix and layer them. I have not, of course, done that. This was my first review. You saw me just take them out the box and spray them. So I will play with them, mix and layer them to see how I like them. Um, and if you're interested in knowing how they layer, leave a comment down below and I could do a video on that. Guys, like I said, these are definitely affordable perfumes. I would recommend them $20 for 1.7 fluid ounce. You can't beat that. They also have the travel size pack with the little um, sample size bottles that has all the scents in them. And I want to say that's $13.99. Um, I could have just picked that up to try them. But I'm happy with my purchase. I would definitely be wearing these. Like I said, this is a summer scent in my opinion, but I probably will wear this as soon as tomorrow. This smells so good. Um, so, like I said, if you're interested in seeing how they layer, leave a comment down below. Guys, thank you for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Join the family. We have a lot of fun over here. Tell a friend to tell a friend. For watching, and until the next time, bye guys.